my dear students in america the early labor movement harbored a conception of the just society now question arises what is just just means a righteous society a virtuous society a society based on the principle of rule of law equity and justice just society banne ke liye zaruri hai ke law maujood ho rule of law maujood ho jab rule of law hoga to rights and duties jo hain wo determined hongi now question arises ke right kya hota hai right is basically an interest protected and granted by law तो सबसे पहले एथिक्स डेवलप होते हैं और जब एथिक्स के साथ सैंक्शन अटैच हो जाती है तो वो लॉ बन जाता है तो जस्ट सोसाइटी जो अमेरिका में कायम हुई है उसके पीछे लॉ की फार्मूलेशन का बहुत अमल दखल है द अर्ली लेबर मूवमेंट हार्बर्ड अ कॉन्सेप्शन ऑफ द जस्ट सोसाइटी deriving from the ricardian labor theory of value and from the republican ideals of the american revolution which indeed fostered social equality celebrated honest labor and relied on an independent virtuous citizenship my dear students in america the transforming economic changes of industrial capitalism ran counter to laborers vision the result as early labor leaders saw it was to raise up two distinct classes the rich and the poor in america my dear students beginning with the working men's parties of the 1830s the advocates of equal rights mounted a series of reform efforts that spanned the 19th century in america the most notable were the national labor union launched in 1866 and the knights of labor which reached its zenith in the mid 1880s my dear students on the very onset these reform movements might have seemed at odds with trade unionism aiming as they did at the cooperative commonwealth rather than a higher wage appealing broadly to all producers rather than strictly to wage workers and eschewing the trade union reliance on the strike and boycott yahan par ek bada technical lafz istemal hua hai eschewing iska matlab hai to give up to disdain my dear students trade unionism tended to the workers immediate needs labor reform to their higher hopes the two were held to be strands of a single movement rooted in a common working class constituency and to some degree sharing a common leadership in america but equally important they were strands that had to be kept operationally separate and functionally distinct in america hope you have understood the topic thank you very much indeed